Sunny days in Portland, Oregon got me like... And got Zenny like... Hey ghouls and creeps, I'm Britt and welcome to my channel where we do spooky DIY home and lifestyle content all year long. It's the sunniest time of year in Portland, Oregon right now, which means it's the perfect opportunity to work on a project that's been living rent free in my mind for the last several months. And that's a smaller replica of Enid and Wednesday's dorm window that was part of the Wednesday series this past year. Now since I don't have the knowledge, skill sets, or tools at this point to make an actual stained glass piece, I've been researching different faux stained glass making methods, and luckily there are a lot of options available. There's resin, which I've dabbled in a little bit for a blog project where I created these death's head hawk moths. I'll be sure to link that project below. There's adding food coloring or dye to clear Elmer's glue, tissue paper, clear colored vinyl, but the one that I ultimately landed on was this product called Gallery Glass Paint that I found at Michael's. If you're a novice like me, the leading is the line that separates the colors of a stained glass image and can be done in two different ways with either a tape or a paint for the Gallery Glass Paint, so I thought why not try out both? I'm super curious to see how well I can replicate Wednesday and Enid's window with this new medium that I haven't ever used before, so let's give it a shot. To begin, I found a reference image of the window and imported this into Illustrator where I resized it to have a diameter of 10 inches to match my plexiglass circles. I then duplicated the image so I could divide it in half with a couple of clipping masks because I knew that this would not be fitting on a standard piece of printer paper without dissecting it somehow. After printing my image and taping it to my work surface to keep it in place, I centered my plexiglass circle with my reference image and also used tape to keep this in place as well. The first leading technique I tried was the tape. The instructions in the packaging recommended using the leading paint to join intersecting lines. Because I didn't have a knife for my X-Acto blade, I came up with this alternative technique where I laid the tape over the line I was replicating and then made marks on either end with a pencil, showing me where to cut. 
I then used my pencil tip to help negotiate the piece into place. The next day I got busy working on the second window using the paint leading this time instead of the tape. Once I got to the color paints, it was basically paint by numbers, using my reference image underneath to know where to apply each color. I have a confession to make here, I did not allow my lead paint to sit and dry for 24 hours like the instructions said. I think I let it sit for 4 hours before I went and started filling in my colors. Fortunately for me, this gamble paid off and I had no issues with my colors mixing. We've made it to the part where we get to go over what went well and what could have gone better. I think overall I like the tape lead better than the paint. My one reservation is I think given the scale of my window, the tape should be skinnier and this becomes more obvious as you get to the center of the window. Also these paints dry a whole lot more vibrantly than how they appear in the bottle, so they're not quite the pastel shades that you see in the original. I am noticing that there are bubbles in the paint, which kind of messes with the illusion of it being glass, but overall I enjoyed this process and love that I have this new medium in my back pocket for any future stained glass simulation projects I want to do. Please let me know in the comments if you're excited for the second season of Wednesday 2 and be sure to like and subscribe to the channel for all the straight up Halloween and Halloween adjacent content that we do around here. Thank you as always for visiting my creepy craft corner of the webs and watching till the end. Now let's get to that grand reveal.